Okay, one o'clock on the dot. All right, Elaine, I'm going to hand it over to you. Thank you for um, doing this today. I'm looking forward to it. Of course, of course. Thank you again for having us. Um, so my name is Elaine and I'm from the Contra Costa County Library, um, specifically here at the Pleasant um, Hill Branch. If you come visit us, we are open for, for service. You can come in and um, grab your holds. And if you have questions or anything, give us a call. Um, so yes, um, as mentioned, this is um, kind of the last in the series that we currently have. Um, Things have also, you know, been reshowing on the um, the city channel. Um, on the um, there are handouts as well that have been placed up. So if you uh, want to follow along with something on paper, um, or um, you know, you just want to print those out and have those for for your own use, um, that is those are available on um, the uh, uh, Commission on Asians website. Um, we can go ahead and drop a link. We'll have more links as well at the end. So if you guys wanna write those down or just kind of notate where those are, you'll be able to do so. Um, yeah, just as a, you know, a things change a lot. So sometimes the images may not match what you see, what is currently, um, that is kind of what seems to happen sometimes, many times with technology. So, but if, you know, if you're confused, give us a call and we can go ahead and walk you through that. So um, with that little introduction finished, we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and then we're going to go ahead and take a look at some things. Um, so let's do that. I'm going to share this one. Okay. And then there is nothing there. Where did it go? Uh, here we go. Okay. So I'm going to hit present. See if it's gonna work today. There we go. Every does everybody see that? Okay, very good. So we're today we're gonna be talking about Canopy and hopefully some other databases depending on how much time we have. Um, so hoping to cover Canopy, which is streaming videos and then maybe newspapers, magazines, and etc. Um, quick intro. This is myself again. Very good. Hello. Um, next page. Um, so what you'll need is a Contra Costa County library card or an e-card. Some of our databases do not work with just the e-card, so you will have to upgrade to the full service card. Um, the Canopy, which is the streaming videos one, is one of those um, databases that they have told us, sorry, it does not work with the e-card. However, um, now that all our libraries are open, you can go ahead and come on in and upgrade your e-card to a full service card if you need to do so. Um, if you're not sure if you have a you know, full service card or an e-card, you can always give us a call with the card number that you have and we can go ahead and double check on that for you, okay? Uh, of course, you'll need internet access, um, a computer, tablet, or possibly um, the app, depending on what the um, uh, what it is, and then we'll go ahead and I'll show you some more. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the next page. Um, so today, like I mentioned, um, we're going to cover Canopy is our main focus today. Um, however, if we do have some time, I will um, we'll go ahead and show you how to get access to the New York Times, uh, how to get access to the East Bay Times. Uh, how to get access to Flipster, which is some of our magazines, um, and possibly Heritage Quest, which is our genealogy research. If we, um, I don't anticipate that we'll be have enough time to run through everything, but I at least will show you where everything is, and so that you can see if you can kind of navigate that. And of course, give us a call if um, you need anything else. Um, so let's go ahead and walk through the process. So I'm going to go ahead and and do this real quick. And so I'm going to go ahead and go to our homepage. So this is our homepage um, for the Contra Costa County Library at cccLIB.org. Um, so right on top, there's um, all these interesting things that are um, happening. Of course, these fun banners um, in the middle, most um, newest information we try to go ahead and put on the homepage here. So we're, what we're going to go to is right on top on this, um, this blue banner, see where it says digital resources. I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna click digital resources. And then, so um, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of digital resources here. There's, I'm gonna do a quick scroll through, just lots and lots and lots of cards. So 
what we're going to um, start with, as you can see, our most popular um, are currently these four. So Overdrive, East Bay Times, New York Times, and Canopy here at the end. Um, you know, these may always change just because they are the most popular. So as, as things change, they may move around. Um, so if you do not see Canopy here, just remember that it's called Canopy. Um, and then if you, you can hit one of these see all buttons, and then you get a list of A to Z. So then you can pop over to K. Um, I'm going to hit K real quick, and this you get Canopy Kids, uh, and then you get Canopy Movies, and it gives you a list of what this is. Um, so quick rundown, uh, you will be able to stream independent classic international and documentary films. You have eight uh, film play credits available per the calendar month. You're going to use your library card number and your last name to sign up for Canopy. Um, and then there's uh, available on all these um, things. Um, there's this getting started with Canopy. Um, it's a little video. So if um, you can't remember um, what uh, we go over through today, this is going to give you a great um, run through as well of Canopy. So I'm going to go back real quick. So going back one more. Going back to the digital resources. So here, here is this lovely orange card here that says Canopy. Um, I'm gonna click on Canopy here. And then it's gonna bring me to, here is the Canopy homepage, okay? So the very first time you come to the Canopy homepage, you wanna hit add a library card here. So get access by simply adding your Contra Costa County library card and your PIN or password. Um, if you have, signed up for canopy before you will log you'll hit the login button right up over here in the upper right hand corner right over here okay so we're going to go ahead and hit add library card and then it's going to show you go ahead and add that so you're going to go ahead and put in your card number and then you're going to put in the library card pin slash password so for here at Contra Costa County, the library card slash pin password is going to be your last name. Okay, so that's what you're going to put. You're going to put in your last name. We're going to hit continue. And then because I actually already have a card with, with this, and that's going to give, give me this. But if you didn't, they're going to say, welcome to Canopy, and you'll be able to, sign, to, to log in. So I'm going to go ahead and hit log in up here. So if you get this message, you're like, oh, it already has. And it says this library card number is already being used on a Canopy account registered to. And then here is a glimpse of the, um, the email address and then um, that they are giving you. And so then you're gonna get hit um, login. You're like, oh, okay. So what happens with Canopy is that after you're, um, you give them the card number and your last name, you're going to make an account with Canopy. So you're going to make an account with Canopy um, with um, your, we suggest using an email address to do so. Um, so not using a, um, there will be options as well. You can sign in with Facebook. You can sign in with Google. You can sign in with your Apple ID. So the reason that we suggest signing in with your, with an email is because if you forget your password, you can recover it through the, uh, through different ways. If things go wrong with your Facebook account, with your Google account, with your Apple account, unfortunately, there's no way for um, library staff or even really Canopy staff to help you there because there is a disconnect between the other service. So we always suggest that you use an, your email address to sign up for it, okay? So I'm gonna hit, um, I'm gonna go back to, to the Canopy page. And so here I'm gonna hit login now. So now that I've made an account, so here, like I said, they have this button to log in with Google, look, connect with Facebook, um, but we're gonna go ahead and sign in with the email address. So um, the email address, I'm gonna put that in. And then you're gonna put in the password that you've chosen for your Canopy account, and then you're gonna hit login. And then it says, welcome back. They're loading my profile. There we go. So once it is loaded, this is what 
you will see. So um, they have newly added movies here, some newly added documentaries. So this is a great place just to browse for any interesting things that you may want um, to watch. Uh, mostly what is on Canopy uh, will be um, documentaries um, and other um, um, other fun things. Uh, we have some Oscar winners and nominees here, more documentaries. We also have all these great courses here, some more horror favorites, et cetera, et cetera. I'm gonna scroll all the way back up um, to the top. Um, this bar up here as well doesn't move. If you saw that, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll. So you can see if you get halfway through and you just wanna hit search, you can go ahead and do so. So you can go ahead and search for whatever you want up in the search bar here. I'm gonna, there's this browse option to kind of give you um, movies, documentaries, the arts, et cetera. So different um, categories there. Um, there is Canopy Kids here. So um, kind of our kid-friendly material that uh, you can go ahead and take a look at. So Canopy Kids also has this great thing letting you know that they enjoy unlimited plays in our current collection for kids. And you can start watching here. I'm gonna close out this real quick. Um, we're, the, we're gonna exit Canopy Kids. And so what they're talking about, they're talking about um, credits, right? So um, as I mentioned before, you get eight credits a month um, so that you can watch um, anything that, any movie that you want, uh, you have eight options um, to watch anything. Um, just know that once you start the video, once you're five seconds in, that will count as a credit. Okay, so if you accidentally click on it, um, if it if you let it run long enough, unfortunately, it will count as a credit. So how do you? Um, many of them, for example, I'm going to scroll over here. There's this watch button. So if you click watch, that's going to start your credit. If you're not sure whether or not you want to, you know, watch the full film, many times you can. I would click on the title. So instead of clicking down here where it says watch, clicking the title. Um, it's going to open the card and it's going to, you're going to get a better full view. And if you hit the trailer and it says, like it says, trailers don't require play credits. So that way you don't have to use the credit to kind of get a taste of, of what the film is going to be. Um, and, uh, um, and, uh, to, and, and basically use a credit. Um, so uh, right in this upper right-hand corner, where it says seven, it's gonna let me know. So I currently have seven credits left. So my account currently has seven credits left for the month. So the credits will reset on the first of every month. So um, if I click on, if I click on seven, nothing happens. So what you wanna do is that you wanna um, hover over your name. So you can, there are other options. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit um, my dashboard and see kind of an overview of the, your profile. So here's your profile. You can edit it. There's parental controls. You can edit your library card number, how many credits you have left. Um, you can add things to your watch list. So, um, you know, if you want to add things later. So I'm going to go ahead and click on viewing history real quick to show you. So you can see what you've used your credits on. And so this is the one that I've started. Um, and then you can go ahead um, and um, uh, view that. So as you see right here, it says when I watched it and when it expires, it says it expires in two days. What does that mean? So that means once you hit play on a, on a, a video, you have three days to watch it as many times as you want and it will not use another credit. So right now I'm at, I've only used one credit on um, this um, documentary. I can watch it as many times as, as I want within the next um, two, three days. Um, and then once it expires in two days, you will have to use another credit if you would like to watch it again. At that time, um, the continue watching button will turn red and it will no longer say continue watching. It will say uh, either rewatch or watch again. So the language on here will change. Yeah, so it's gonna say, it's gonna be orange and it's gonna say watch again. So if you see it be green and if you wanna watch it again, that's fine. You're not gonna use another credit. 
you can continue watching it as many times as you want. Um, so uh, there are some things that don't require credits. So anything in the Canopy Kids section. So none of the children's um, kind of curated material requires use of a credit. If I go back, I'm gonna go back to Can uh, actually, yeah, I'm gonna go back to the homepage. So the Canopy homepage, I'm gonna hit Canopy right on top here. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down. Um, none of the great courses as well will require a, um, a credit. I'm gonna click on, so it looks like the title itself, Great Courses is clickable. So if you can, I, I, I could tell because when I rolled over it, they, the um, arrow turned into a little um, hand button. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on other great courses. It's gonna show me um, all the great courses maybe in, in, a, in a thing. So here are recently added um, items to the great courses um, litter, uh, catalog. Um, so here is one of their top picks. So we're gonna go ahead and give that a shot. I'm gonna either, I'm gonna hit watch. It says play episode one. So you'll go ahead and you can, as you can see, this great course has multiple episodes. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down. It has 15 episodes. So um, if you would like to watch all of those, you can, it is not going to use um, any of your credits. Let's verify that. I'm gonna hit, ooh, I'm gonna hit play. I'm gonna hit play one more time. Let's see, it's gonna load. Very good. Let's see. So I am 10 seconds in. Very good. Okay. We're gonna give that a little bit of time and then let's see if the, the counter um, turns over. Um, in the meantime, does anybody have any questions about Canopy? Yes, can you um, access it through Roku? Yes, so um, Canopy is um, a, and has an app in the Roku player. So if you have a Roku player, if you have um, an Apple TV, um, I believe um, those two for sure um, have apps. And so um, with those players, if you have a Roku, if you have an um, Apple TV or things like, or a smart TV, you would look for the Canopy app and then you would be able to add it to your smart TV or add it to your streaming um, stick. Um, and then you would be able to um, uh, follow the directions and they'll have you sign into your Canopy account just so you they know um, which account to, to um, locate. Um, and then you will be all set up and be able to access all of this um, on your TV on your Roku instead of on um, the browser. But of course, you can always, you know, be in front of the computer and, and watch it um, from there. Well, that's really great. I prefer to sit in my comfy chair. So that, that's great. Um, and I think you've kind of answered the other question. I was curious whether we needed to set up an account for each device, but it sounds like no one account, and then you can access it from your phone, your iPad, your Roku, just that one account. Yes, so you would okay. use one account and then it will give you steps on how to um, access the account um, on on the Roku or on the, um, um, you know, uh, things like that. Okay. Alrighty, real quick, I'm going to go ahead and go back to, I'm going to hit up on top to the profile. I'm going to hit watch viewing history. Um, so yeah, as you can see, currently I still have seven credits and here we go. We have um, the beginning of the genealogy um, episode there. Um, so uh, you, the great courses, it's a, a great resource and there's so many um, awesome episodes there, but they are extremely long as, as you can imagine. And so um, Canopy, you know, is, is not gonna count uh, count that against you, um, but it will um, 
uh, give you eight for the month. Okay. All righty. So that it also looks like the time period you have to view one of the great courses is longer because I see it says four weeks and not three days. Yes. Yes. So this a uh, good catch. So right here, as you can see, the um, the timing is is different. So it gives you more time, and you know, um, it's it's pretty. It's not a an issue. It's pretty much a non issue, right? Because it's it's not going to count against your credits, anyways. Um, it's uh, uh, it's it'll be fine. I think um, when it says expires in four weeks, when you hit continue watching, it will probably pick up where you left off, right? So if you stopped at, uh, you know, 30 minutes in, then when you hit continue watching, it will start again at the 30 minute mark. Um, however, if it expires, then you will probably lose all that process in that particular episode. So, you know, if you were at the 45 minute mark and it expires, then when you hit watch again, it's going to start you from the beginning so that you can watch it again. So that is um, probably what will happen uh, for these guys. Yeah. So, you know, different ways that you can manage it. And of course, there's that my watch list um, here. Um, currently, I don't have anything on that. Very sad. Uh, but you would be able to, you know, go through and if you anything, I'm going to go back to the home page. So anything that you see um, that looks interesting and you kind of don't really have the time to really dig in and deep to see what it's actually about, you can go ahead. If you hover over the image, there's a, the button that just says plus my list. So add to my list. So if I click on that. There you go. And it's been added to the list. How do I know there's now there in a little check mark next to the option that says my list. So over here, this one does not, and I'm gonna hit that again. Um, you also get um, down here, it's a little hard to see, but they're down here at this, the bottom left, there's this little green banner that just popped up. Let's try it again. It's a little green banner that pops up that says video added, pandemic 19 has been added to your watch list. So you get kind of a little indication that that has happened. Scroll back up, I'm gonna go back up to Kent to my, um, account up here so under uh, my name so you can either go to my dashboard or directly to my my watch list click on that and so uh here's that uh and these are the ones that i just added to the list that, of items that i may want to watch so here's the button that says watch now and here's the button that says remove if you kind of decide oh actually i don't really I've read what it's about and I don't really care for care for it. And so you can go ahead and hit remove and then it will refresh and then it will, will go away. Um, yeah. All righty. So if there aren't any pressing questions about canopy, we can go ahead and uh, I will show you how the New York Times subscription works. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and log out. If you're on a computer, um, if you're on your computer at home, you know, and not not a big deal, you can always leave yourself logged in. As I am not at a co computer at my house, I'm going to go ahead and be safe and secure about that and log myself out. As a reminder, the login button is all the way up here on the right-hand corner when you get to this page. Alrighty, so going back to our homepage. So CCCLIB dot org you that's not our homepage. there we go so here we're back at the home page once more back at our digital resources okay so here's the digital resources um as you can see new, the new york Times subscription is one of our most popular um so i am gonna go ahead and click on that there's also this button right here that says info plus and so if i hit the plus it will give me it'll expand the card and you will get more information we'll scroll down so this information is also on um uh when you hit see all for example i'm gonna let's open that in a new tab real quick so this information is the same information that you will find when you look at it in the a to z format so if i go to n for new york times um you have you know, this is much easier to read than than this 
thing is. Um, so um, if you expand the card and it's really difficult to read, I suggest that you can go ahead and hit see all and find it alphabetically. So here is kind of a quick rundown. It's going to let you know the New York Times digital subscription you can use with your your e card. So if you do not have a full service library card yet, you can use the um, the New York Times with your e card. So it's letting you know that your Contra Costa County library card will give you 24 hour complimentary access to the digital edition of the New York Times. So they're asking you to go to the New York Times account page, enter in your card number, last name, you're going to create, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, we can click it from this button from here. Um, and it's going to look like this. I'm going to close this out real quick. Um, but um, if you go, if you're starting from this page and you just click on the image, you just click on the image, it will go to this same page. Um, so I, let's see, I'm trying to see if I can log out of this. Um, so I had activated a pass earlier today. You can see your my pass will expire uh, at this time. So I'm trying to think how to do another one. Uh, yes, let's. I'm gonna bring in a, a, a different window real quick. Um, so real quick. So if I go to digital resources. I'm going to go to the New York Times. All right, so they're going to say they're saying welcome to the New York Times, you can create an so to claim your pass start by creating a free New York Times account. So the very first time you come through here so even if you have if you have have had a subscription to um, New York Times before I was um, doing it through this way through the library, it will give you free access so you don't have to pay for it. So I'm going to hit create account. What you're going to do, um, same, they give you these options to continue with Google, continue with Facebook, continue with Apple, but always, we always suggest that you um, use your email. That way, if anything goes wrong with these accounts, then it doesn't, then you don't have problems accessing anything else. So here you would type in your email address. You will type in a password. Um, you can hit show and it, it will, it will let you know it, you'll be able to see what it is because right when you put in the email address and the password and you hit create you will go ahead and be logged in so that will be your password moving forward so if you want to make sure that you're putting in what you're typing is what you think you're typing um, um go ahead and hit the show button and then you can make sure oh yes that's the password that i think it is is actually what it is. Um, so very first time you're going to hit create account. If you already have an account, you're going to hit log in. And then you're going to go ahead and put in the information. I'm going to scroll back real quick. Um, so here, if you hit, like we said, if you can either hit create account or if you already have an account, you've already done this before, you hit log in here and it will give you this image again. So you're going to go ahead and put in uh oops you're gonna put in your email address you're gonna put in your password and then if you if this is your personal computer it's always you know easy to say remember me and it will remember you the next time this is not so i'm going to uncheck that i'm going to hit login and it will say your digital pass is still active or it's congratulations, you've activated your pass. You can, um, it will, it's a 24 hour pass. And so if you come in within the, the same 24 hours, you this is the message you will get. Um, and so I'm gonna go directly to the newyorktimes.com. So I'm gonna go and click on that. And then here we go, we are at the New York Times. And so you, will, you won't get a pop-up that says you've read uh, you know, all your free, uh articles for uh for the month or for things so uh you know we can go ahead and um click on any of the um articles it will show up and you'll be able to read the entire thing 
Um, so because as a reminder, once more um, to emphasize, um, because this is a pass through the library, you always want to start at the library's website and you want to sign in through there and not um, sign in through um, the, 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 you don't want to start at the New York Times website. Okay, um, up here it says, as you can see, I'm signed in, but it says complimentary subscription is what it says up here. I'm going to hit log out. Okay, so now I'm logged out. I'm going to close. This Let's one. ask you a question. So I have never accessed a newspaper digitally. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, I'm just really unfamiliar with how you find your way around. Mm. So it, can you just spend a little bit more time about how you work with the digital newspaper? Sure. Um, so um, they do have a search bar up here. So if you're interested, if you know there's a particular news article or there's a particular um, subject that you know that is, has been happening and that you're interested in, um, you can go ahead and hit the search bar here. Um, like the sections of the magazine are also, uh, of the, I'm sorry, of the newspaper are also kind of broken out on top here. Um, so world news, US politics, um, specifically for New York and then um, things like that. Um, is there anything in particular that comes to mind just right off the bat um, that? Uh, oh, I always like food and travel. Right. Yeah. So um, I'm going to scroll back up here. So there is there is food and travel here. So they've kind of tried to curate um, similar sections as, as how kind of the physical paper would be laid out. So they've kind of curated um kind of front pages for each of the sections so if i click on food it will give me i'm gonna scroll down so kind of their front page for their kind of food section here so we have some essays um some more critic stuff i'm gonna scroll down uh, and some other restaurant reviews some other interesting things to eat um suggestions i'm gonna scroll down some more and it looks like there's no ads. Yeah, the ads are pretty kind of off to the side a little bit. So here are, we are the ads on the right hand side here, but they're definitely not kind of in the middle of, of your screen that will you get this one, this, you know, awaken to Peru. I would that would be awesome, actually traveling to Peru. Um, but um, they're pretty Un unobtrusive, I would say, um, and so it, you don't have to worry too much about things kind of popping up in your face as you know other you may get for other places. Um, and so here, for example, the kind of latest articles that they have. I'm gonna scroll some more. I'm gonna scroll all the way back up. Oops. Um, and it's for multiple days, huh? So this yeah. isn't just a one day newspaper. I mean, I'm not just looking at the Sunday paper. This is like showing all the articles for a week or something? Yes, that is correct. So their kind of digital subscription is more of kind of a curated um, blend of the kind of the most recent things and kind of, um, I would say a few days, of course, like you said, like, for example, this art, this essay is from two days ago. Um, this one is from one day ago. Um, so it's kind of a curation. It's not um, a reproduction, as it were, of, of their physical newspaper. Um, many of their physical, their actual articles will be able to be found um, on, on the, on, on here. So you would be able to search for if you know the, for example, the title of the article and that, that came up, then you'll be able to find it here. Um, but you are correct, and that is not a page for page reproduction. Um, the um, uh, Contra Costa, I'm sorry, the East Bay Times, there is a version that is a page for page reproduction. So if you would like um, to, to, to do that and, and, and look at that, we can, um, I can show you what that looks like. But yes, the New York Times is not, um, not how that works for, for New York Times. I don't know if that answers your question. Um, so yes, it just takes yes. getting used to, you know, this is <laughs> yeah. all new to me. It's all looks like little thumbnails of all mm -hmm. different things. Okay. Right. Yeah. So um, many, I find many of the kind of online um, editions um, 
are kind of built more like um more like a website right and less of a reproduction there are many times they do have um, areas where you can go and see what the actual newspaper looks like um but i find that many of the news outlets now are kind of curating their their sections um kind of on the day by day um and um so that it's more responsive to what they they think their their um their audience is interested in um I'll scroll back up. So from here, so if um, it, you know, you're in the food area, but you can go back to the front page of the New York Times Digital it would, by just clicking um, the title right on top. So I'm gonna click on that, and then here um, once again is kind of a an amalgam of what the um, of the different sections. So kind of breaking news on top. Here's an uh, kind of an opinion section. I'm gonna scroll down some more. Um, some other live news. Um, yeah, and you kind of get home and lifestyle um, down here on the bottom. Um, but kind of a, a small curation of each little section will be on um, their very, um, the very front page. Okay. Any quick questions before we move on? Still have some time. Uh, hi, Elaine. Can you yes, hear me? I can hear you. Uh, how many times, uh, let me put my video so you can see my face. Uh, how many times can I access the New York Times past the 24 hours? Past the 24 hours, zero. So after the 24 hours is up, you will just sign in and you'll activate a new pass. So you can get as many passes as you want. There's not, um, I've not been, as far as I understand, there's not a limit on a, on how many passes. So they're not saying that within a month, you can only have 20 passes. That's not a limit. It's just telling you that you will have to re-sign in and re-log in every 24 hours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and um, if you like to read the news on your phone, I've been able to get download the New York Times app and and read it on my phone as well with the complimentary subscription. So that works as well. So if you um, kind of are on the go and want to either read it on, if you have a phone or if you have a tablet and you don't want to be sitting in front of your computer, um, you'll be able to, once you access that pass, you'll be able to access it um, on, on those devices. But as a just a reminder, um, you will have to reaccess uh, a 24-hour pass every 24 hours. Yes, I hope that makes sense. Yes, okay. Yeah, alrighty. Okay, so that is the New York Times. Um, so we're gonna go back to our um, our homepage at cccclib.org. Once again, everything can be found under our digital resources. And then, so now we're gonna go look at the East Bay Times. So more kind of local news and things like that. I'm gonna go ahead and click on East Bay Times. So it's gonna be East Bay Times and East Bay Times is provided to us by NewsBank. So that is kind of the overarching name of the database. So NewsBank is here, I'm gonna scroll down. There is this, um, section on this right hand side. So as you can see that we have, there are many different newspapers um, listed here, scrolling some more, scrolling some more, as you can, lots of newspapers scrolling back up. Um, there's other ways to look by topic. Um, I'm going to scroll all the way back up. You can search this way. Um, however, um, what I find many people are interested in is the newspapers themselves. So they're not really interested in searching through the newspaper. They really kind of want to just look at the newspaper. So for example, um, East Bay Times. So is the second as it is um, kind of the most popular one for us. Um, the East Bay Times here says East Bay Times collection. Um, we're going to access that. I'm going to click on that. Um, you can also search here. However, what I'm going to look at down here is the sources. So I'm going to scroll down. So as you can see, there are different by name. You can um, source name by date, by location, type, format, language. So we have a bunch of these guys here. And so we have these three here that say East Bay Times, East Bay Times, and East Bay Times web edition articles. So what's the difference? So the East Bay Times here, if I look on the format, it is image. And what does that mean? So that means this is actually the reproduction of the paper 
itself. So you'll be able to see what the front page looks like. Um, here, East Bay Times as well, but it says the format is text. So there's no images, it's just, um, as, as you can imagine, text. And then same for the web edition, there may be some editions that are only up here on the East Bay Times website. Um, so this is their web only source, and this is their text, for example. So um, the paper itself is what I'm interested in. So I'm gonna go to this one, as you can see, um, they have the physical reproductions of the papers from 2018 to the current year. Um, for the text only, East Bay Times, they do have 2016, they have further back. But if I want to look at the paper itself, um, further so I can go back will be 2018. So let's see what that looks like. I'm going to hit on the name here, East Bay Times. It's thinking. Okay, so here, uh, once again, the search, I'm going to scroll past. Um, view recent issue issues, so it's giving me kind of the last five days worth of issues. I can go further back. There's this um, browse by date function here where you can go ahead and, and pick a date. You can change the year here. I'm gonna hit the drop down. So 2018, 19, 20, 21, for example. Um, I want to see today's paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and click May 20, 2021. You can also click it here in this little mini calendar here. So any of the, um, the, let, the numbers in blue, those are available. Tomorrow's paper obviously is not available because it has not been printed yet, uh, as you can imagine. Um, so May 20, 2021, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. It's gonna load. Then here we go, we get have the, I'm gonna scroll. That's a very quick scroll. Um, it's gonna give me the East Bay Times. So this is the front page of today's paper. It's letting me know how many pages there are. Um, this little hide button um, gets me a larger view. So I'm gonna, ooh, I'm gonna hit hide. That's gonna make, expand that bigger. So you still have those options. If you want it even bigger, this one here, where it says, um, where you have arrows that go all the way out, that it's gonna expand it fully that it's not going to expand it fully. It's going to make uh, the image smaller, so it's going to fit all on one page. Um, but that's really small. I cannot read that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this little plus um, to zoom in. So you can go ahead and zoom. I'm going to, you can see my cursor now, my arrow has kind of changed into a hand symbol. It's kind of um, it's that's a shortcut for like a grabbing symbol, so you can move things around. So I'm going to go ahead and move it around. That's a little too big now. So you'll be able to read it this way. So just like that, I can go ahead and drag the paper around so I can read, read it. Um, I can, there are print options, there are download options. You can email it out. So you're emailing a link out maybe to yourself to remind you or to a friend. Uh, more information and, and citations. Um, so if I want to go to page um, 15, for example, there's, I can do that. It's gonna go ahead and load. Here we go, there, here, this is page 15. On this, um, on this right-hand side, you get page thumbnail. So it's kind of, it's giving you um, a preview of what that page looks like. So like here's the crossword puzzle on page 19. So if I want to look at that, I can go ahead and click either on the image or on the title. Here we are, we're on page 19. Here is today's crossword puzzle. Um, and if you were, if I was interested and wanted to, I could go ahead and uh, let's try to print out the crossword. So you can either print full page or select a clip. So if you know I don't need all this other stuff, I can maybe select clip. And then it gives me this blue box here that I can drag it around if I so wish. Um, but that's, if I don't wanna worry about that, I can just hit print full page and it's going to, um, I can hit print and print it out if I would like. I'm gonna hit cancel. Um, and so, that's how you would access all of that. I'm gonna go Do you have ahead. a similar option on the New York Times? 
did the New York Times have a similar option to print? To print? Um, yeah. I don't think it has a native print function. And what, if I, and what I mean by that is I don't believe that there's a function just to print the page. You can kind of print the, the website. But um, actually, I think I want to say that they do, that New York Times does allow you to print out the crosswords. That's something that we would have to test. Um, I can go, we can go ahead and look at that real quick after we finish here. But um, yes, we can go ahead and take a look at the New York Times to see what their printing options um, look like. I'm gonna um, go ahead and I don't need this, these print options anymore here. So I'm gonna hit the, the X button um, and scroll. I don't know if you can see that there's this little tab. It's actually it says show. So I'm gonna show that and we'll get all of the rest of the options. Um, any questions about New York, about the East Bay Times? I'm gonna go back to Newsbank just to point out something real quick. Scroll. Um, so the other paper that we do have full images for is the currently the um, uh, San Francisco Chronicle. So uh, if I scroll down through here, uh, there's this one that says San Francisco Chronicle Collection. I'm gonna click on that. And just like before, um, don't be confused if there's three of them, just um, there, there are three of them because there are different formats. So you have the text format, the image format, will, which will get you the full paper and the text of the web articles only. Um, and then if, of course, if you wanted to search, um, you can give it a search there. Um, the, when would I use this search and not just search through here? Um, if I have a name or a keyword and I don't know when it happened, for example, um, then maybe I will put in um, the topic here and it, let's go ahead and put in the topic. Let's put in, uh something about cats well, i don't know cats seem to be my default search option but look a mountain lion has been spotted in san francisco's brunel heights great so if i wanted to look i could go ahead and as you can see it gives me the um the the date and so if i wanted to actually look at the paper um it, it's it's great to be able to you know find it and be able to physically look at the paper um i'm gonna hit this preview button and it gives me a preview of um the document let me see what's gonna if I hit preview document yeah so it's give it's giving me the text uh, of of the article but it's not giving me the image uh, any images of, of the actual paper. But since I have the date now, I can go back to the um, image uh, version of San Francisco Chronicle and pull up the, um, the article and look at it that way if I would like. Uh, yes. So it looks like um, Patrick has let us know that the New York Times full crossword is not available with our subscription. Um, and you cannot print it from the web. That's what it sounds looks like. And you sorry, yeah, you can sorry, you can print the New York Times from the web, but it doesn't have like the fancy uh, select, you know, just the piece that you want kind of thing. It would just be like you were printing another website. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully that answers Teresa. Hopefully that um let's you know how that works um going back to the news bank homepage. um any questions oh um yeah so well i don't know uh if you would like we could go over um some more um uh we have flipster the magazines that we've talked about and Heritage Quest, which is our genealogy um, database. Um, it's connected to, um, similar to Ancestry. Um, however, lots of the databases um, can be accessed um, in very similar ways. So um, going back, I'm gonna scroll, I'm gonna just go to the homepage. Um, so that's the uh, expensive sounding like um, a squeaky wheel. Um, 
homepage. If you go to the homepage, go to the digital resources, um, and then go ahead and access um, the the database um, with your library card number um, and your last name. Um, so sometimes they will ask you for your PIN. Um, Contra Costa County Library doesn't um, use numbers for a PIN. We use the last name. So anywhere it says PIN, go ahead and put in your last name. Um, some of the websites, as, as you saw, require you to uh, make an account. Um, so like we said, um, Canopy will, will require you to make an, another account with them, uh, New York Times as well. So once they verify that you um, are at a member library, they'll ask you to make um, a, an account so that you can uh, fully access all their materials. Um, as you can see, we have many, 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 many um, databases um, here. Um, looks like we do have ancestry. Um, and so uh, there are multiple um, air to uh, what what is overdrive? Yeah, so overdrive is our um, um, our ebook platform. Um, so we do have um, we did cover maybe two months ago. Uh, we we had a um, a a, uh, a workshop directly on um, Overdrive and the uh, the application that you would download um, called Libby. Yeah, so I'm familiar with Libby. I just didn't remember Overdrive. Okay. Yeah, so Libby is the name of the app that Overdrive has developed. So it is the same database they just have a different name for their mobile app is all mm -hmm. but yeah and so um all those um the uh what am i going what am i saying the other um um doo -doo -doo. uh the handouts for the other um workshops that we did are also um, available. Um, let me go ahead and pull those, pull, show you real quick. Um, so those are going to be located. Let me just, um, they're on the um, uh, Commission on Aging's um, website. So here is from the, the city of Pleasant Hill um, um, website on their city commissions, uh, their Commission on Aging. I'm going to scroll. Uh, where did it go? That's great. I will drop down the link for uh, most of the other ones. But um, so there is one on. Let me find the link for the one on Libby. Uh oh. Is it possible, Elaine? Go. It's just under the resources tab because I know uh, or one of the other tabs there. Ah, there we go. Mm -hmm. So from there, sorry. So here is the Commission on Aging's landing page. And then if you go to the second one, which is events, uh, there is their upcoming series. I'm going to scroll um, all the way down to um, the other 2021 events. Um, here is the presentation that we did. Um, you can watch it on YouTube. But there's also this very first one um is a link to um the where'd it go the 
there we go. <laughs> There's a link to all the handouts um, that we did. So if you click on a presentation, um, if you, you can go, it will walk you through um, everything there. Um, so let me go ahead and I'm gonna pop the link for um, not in the chat um, for accessing audiobooks for the Libby app using the Kindle. Um, we'll go ahead and um, uh, once the some of the handouts are finalized, which will cover everything that we talked about today, um, then they will be available on here as well. Um, do we have any questions? Questions, comments? I have to go to another meeting, so I have to leave, but I am always incredibly impressed with the wealth of information and resources available to us, and we don't know about them. It's just, it must be so hard for you to get the message out, but thank you so much, and please continue to share with us, because it looks like you have even more <laughs> that we, we can learn about, and it's what a gift. So thank you so much. Yes, no, of course. Yeah. So we have, there's so much stuff that the library um, is able to offer and we add new things um, almost all the time um, as uh, new options um, become available to us. We, you know, always um, want to share those resources out um, for everybody. And so hopefully um, everybody has found these um these events helpful um, and you're able to find those handouts helpful as well if you're unable to join us um, uh, live and hopefully you'll be able to join us you know from the comfort of your own homes also give us a call at at the library and we can go ahead and help you um, there um, currently um, Pleasant Hill Library is down by um, City Hall so we're on 100 Gregory uh, and give us a call and come come visit us. <laughs> yeah, it's been it's been great, and we want to um, thank um, you know the senior center again for helping us to host. Um, thank you to um, Pleasant Hills Commission on Aging for um, helping to spearhead these um, these events with us together. Um, so it's great to be able to, to interface and and uh, see some of your faces. <laughs> um, any last questions before I let you all go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, thank yeah. you so much for having us. Thank yeah. you so much, Elaine. Thank Elaine. you, Patrick, for coming. Mm -hmm. okay. um, we will get this recording to the Commission on Aging ASAP. Thank you. So thank you guys. Take care and I Have will end day, the meeting. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Mm -hmm. Bye.